Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to be bringing you guys another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make the background texture that is used in the background of certain interfaces within the Mac OS and iOS. So if you guys don't know what I mean, we're going to be recreating this, which is the border of the OS X Lion Mission Control Center, and this is also the same border that is used in in the uh, notification center in iOS. So we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop to recreate that today and this is what our final product is going to look like. And we can also change this around to make it look however we want to, but today I'm going to show you how to make this in Adobe Photoshop version CS6. So the first thing we need to do is launch up Photoshop, go up to file and uh, whoops, <laughs> Go to file and create a new document. I'm going to make mine 1920 by 1080 pixels, but you can make yours any resolution that you want to, but this is the one that I'm going to be using. So click OK first of all, and then we want to grab our paint bucket tool and fill the background in with the color black. Next we want to create a new layer, and we want to fill that layer in with the color white. And then once that's done, we're going to go up to filter, noise, and add noise. We're gonna change the amount to 100, change the distribution to Gaussian, and make sure monochromatic is checkmarked, and click OK, and we have a layer with noise on it. Next, duplicate the noise layer that we have right there, and then hide the one on top for now. Go to the one on the bottom, and then go to Filter, go to Blur, then go to Motion Blur, change the angle to zero and the distance to 50, and click OK, and we should have something like that. Now you want to unhide the other blur layer up here at the top that had all the noise on it. Select that and go up to filter and add in another motion blur. But this time change the angle to 90. Click OK on that and then we have the texture that's like this. So if we go back to the F3 menu right here, you'll see that it goes sideways and up and down. So we want to merge these two layers together and make them go sideways and up and down. So go here to the layer that's on the top and change the blending mode to multiply and then we should get something that looks like that. And now we can hold down command if you're on a Mac or control if you're on Windows and click on the layer below to select them both. Right click and then go to merge layers and that will merge them all into one. And now the only thing that we have problems with right now as you can see here on the borders of this it looks kind of all like mashed up at the borders and that's not really how we want it. So I'm going to press command and T on a Mac, control and T if you're on Windows, and then I'm just going to scale it up a little bit more. Click enter and now I'm going to select everything with command and A and then I'm going to click these buttons up here to center it and we essentially just made it bigger as you can see and we basically just cropped out all of the corners and so now we have a texture that looks very very similar to this up here you can feel free to experiment with adding some different uh, blending modes and color changes and whatnot however you can choose to lower the opacity to get a greater effect so I'm gonna leave my opacity at around 78 percent to make it look like that and then boom that's how we do it that's how you make the iOS and Mac OS X Lion kind of background style texture template whatever I don't know how to call it but basically that looks like this essentially and you can change the colors tweak it any way you want to but that is the basics on how to get this effect so that's how you do it I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you a lot for watching and if you want to leave any more suggestions for videos you want to see in the future feel free to comment down below and I might take any suggestions so once again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye